Let's have a look inside this greenhouse spiky. Oh, it is so hot in here, Mrs. Coco. Yes, that's the purpose of a greenhouse. It's built to trap heat inside. I see. No wonder it feels warmer inside than outside. But why do we want to trap heat? The trapped heat helps regulate climatic conditions for the growth of plants. This trapping of heat to keep the greenhouse warm is called the greenhouse effect. In a greenhouse, the sun's heat can come in but not all of it can go out. The plastic or glass panels of the greenhouse trap the heat inside by refracting the light that enters. This warms the greenhouse. Also, the gases inside trap the sun's heat as well. This is why they are called greenhouse gases. Fortunately, this only happens in a greenhouse. Usually, if I ever feel warm, I can always go outside. Well, it turns out that the greenhouse effect is happening on a global scale and it's warming up the entire Earth. How is this possible? There is no greenhouse that is as big as Earth. Spiky, some gases in the atmosphere have the same effect as the glass or plastic panels of a greenhouse. These gases include carbon dioxide, methane, chlorofluorocarbons, and nitrogen oxides. Since these gases are able to trap heat in the Earth's surface, they are called greenhouse gases. They create a layer around the Earth which helps keep our planet warm. Due to human activities such as the burning of fossil fuels and industrial processes, the amount of greenhouse gases has increased in the atmosphere. Over the years, this layer of greenhouse gases has become thicker and the greenhouse effect has increased, trapping even more heat in the Earth's surface. This leads to a rise in the average temperature of Earth, which is called global warming. Global warming has consequences for our oceans, weather, food, and health. For instance, warmer temperatures are causing ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica to melt faster. With more water in the oceans, Sea levels start to rise, causing floods to occur more frequently in low-lying or coastal areas. The climate of many regions of the world is also changing due to global warming. The summer is getting hotter and winters are getting colder. Global warming is therefore a threat to life on Earth. If we do not take steps to reduce global warming, it will lead to a loss of human lives, plants and animals. In August 2017, 43 million people across South Asia were hit by heavy monsoon rains that resulted in severe flooding. In some areas, these floods were some of the worst that had been seen in nearly 30 years. More than 1,200 people were killed in Bangladesh, India, and Nepal. After an 18-month drought caused by El Nino, and higher temperatures linked to climate change, the Horn of Africa is now going through another phase of drought. This is caused by a mix of influences from La Nina and the Indian Ocean weather pattern. Millions of people are facing acute food and water shortages. To summarize, the greenhouse effect occurs when gases in the Earth's atmosphere trap heat from the sun. The greenhouse effect causes the Earth's average temperature to rise. This phenomena is called global warming. The increase in greenhouse gases causes the Earth's average temperature to rise. This phenomena is called global warming. Global warming is a major threat to life on Earth, as it causes huge natural disasters such as floods and droughts, thus affecting entire ecosystems.